Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So on today's video, I'm going to be cutting another clutch. This is a calico bumblebee to a banana cinnamon uh, clown male, a blade clown male that I hatched a couple of years back. Now this female I hatched in, I think it was 2015, I should have already checked before I started filming. But when I hatched her, her calico bumblebees was obviously much higher end. Now she's very unique in the way that she's got some very, very high yellows all the way down her dorsal and to the side of her dorsals. She's like just the most stunning, stunning uh, calico bumblebee I've ever seen. So that wasn't the uh, that wasn't the aim of that particular clutch, but I held her back because she was so pretty. I thought she would go on to hatch some really, really amazing snakes one day. And she certainly has in the past, as you've seen from a 2017, probably 18, she missed 19, and now we're on to 20. So she really uh, made her mark in urban constrictors. So although this isn't the most groundbreaking clutch, it's one dear to me because it's a homegrown female. Um, I, there's, a, there's a lot, it, it's really amazing when you're actually breeding the snakes you actually created, and certainly ones many years ago, they've kind of helped pave the way in your hobby, in your business, in your whatever. And it's, it's very, very nice. So I wanted to share that today, but I will be honest, um, I filmed this about a week ago, so I've actually seen the babies and the reveal, what will be on the next video, uh, along with another cutting video, uh, will be far better than the cutting because you can't really see them that well. And to be quite honest with you, when they came out, I was blown away by just how pretty they are. But I didn't hatch what I wanted. So, um, what I was aiming for. So... Uh, probably all the babies, all nine of them will be up for sale. But anyway, so we're going to take a close look at that cutting in two seconds. But first of all, just obviously I want to shout out uh, Neighbours Constrictors for sending me this t-shirt. Darren uh, sent me one, bless him, uh, and said rock it on my new videos. So here I am. Uh, thank you very much. You was correct in the size. It fits quite snug. Um, I was quite surprised I thought it would be too small for me. But um, thank you, uh, you guys, for sending me the t-shirt. I'll put all the uh, information in the description down below. Uh, me and Darren are closer than me and Eric, for instance. And uh, Darren's a real top guy. Uh, we talk a lot on the phone and he's one of the assets to the industry. So um, for those of you who know him will know what I mean. And for those of you who don't know him, you should follow Neighbours Constrictors and uh, Hughes Darren on Instagram, etc. Because he's a real top bloke and he does a lot of good things for a lot of people. He's, um, He'd certainly give someone a snake and sell them it, for instance. He's just such a nice guy. So follow them, guys, and now we'll take a close look at this cutting. Cheers. Right, guys. So as I said, I des I've decided to cut them because some of the babies I can feel, but they aren't moving. Um, so I'm getting a little bit concerned. I think this one's moving, but one or two of them feels like they're kind of still. So... I'm ju I just don't want to really risk it and tempt it. So what I'm going to do, uh, the way I, I do it now, is I prep some rex chip in a clean container and I'm going to cut the eggs over the clean container. I'm going to catch as much goo uh, in, with the tissue and then I'm going to set the eggs up all, over the recti chip. And that's simply because I want to keep the vermiculite nice and clean. So I'm running a bit low on it, so I don't want to run it all out. So I can dry that vermiculite out and reuse it. I know a few breeders that use the same vermiculite year after year after year. So first one. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I forgot to check. I forgot to check if you guys could see. I was just cracking on with it. So first one, a really pretty, amazing looking baby. Uh, so that's a banana, spider, calico. I don't know if it's got cinnamon. Um, really cool. Yep, it's moving, so really pleased to see that. So the plan is to get, let the goo go on the blue tissue and then just set these babies up on the clean recti chip. So, this one's not feeling overly. Let me just check the veins on this. Yeah, there's still a few veins. There's quite a few. Uh, if you notice some black dots on my finger, it's just silicon. Uh, it won't come off. I don't have dirty hands when I'm cutting eggs. I've cleaned my hands properly, but obviously silicon sticks to anything, so. That 
that's actually really cool. So that's a pastel banana, I think. Uh, pastel banana calico. Cool colours. Really cool colours. I'm, I'm really, really shocked at the amount of veins. Not like matters at this stage, but the amount of veins we're seeing and we're on day 59. These eggs, I've never had a clutch go past day 58. Yesterday at 11 a.m. was day 58, so we're well and truly, uh, you know, a full 59 days later. Uh, these babies will do just fine. Uh, because there's more veins than they expected to see, I'll just check how it's moving. It's actually... Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, what was I saying? Um, I've forgotten already. Oh, because there's more veins than I expected to see, uh, they'll just take a, a day or two longer to come out now that I've cut them. If I would have waited and they started to pip, they would have been out faster. Another banana combo. So... I'm, I'm so surprised at the amount of veins. And my incubator is absolutely rock solid at 88.5 to 89, so it's it's not cold. Uh, that could be a banana calico, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's got a really blushed out head, which uh, says it's not just a straight banana, and I don't think it's a pastel banana. Sorry guys, I, I'm, I'm not doing the best on this. Uh, I'm out of practice. <laughs> so what I should probably do is cut them not over the vector chip. Right, see you. Oh, no, you can't see. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to purposely make this car crash uh, cutting video, but the old videos I used to do, uh, I used to have everything right in front of me, it used to be quite easy, but it's a different setup in here. So, pastel, obviously these are all 100% head for clown, I haven't mentioned that over and over again, because there's no real need to, but I think that's just a straight pastel. Uh, could be a could be a very very low expression of calico, but I don't think so. Hey, there's nothing glo <laughs> nothing glorious uh, looking uh, about cutting eggs other than obviously the babies inside. I thought that was a pure white baby for a second. Yeah, you see, that's really weird. You see the yolk sac, it's tiny. So that says that the bit the baby's ready to leave the egg. The yolk sac is smaller than my little fingernail. But there's still a lot of there's still a lot of uh, veins. Really strange. So that's a banana spider something something something. Really cool. 100% hat clown. Such a messy job. So four more eggs. This egg I was a little bit concerned about. I remember it because of the little flap. Uh, the baby doesn't feel to be moving whatsoever. And the egg hasn't dimpled. It's uh, fully inflated. But hopefully I'm obviously worrying about nothing. So I'm not... Not sure if this one's all good. I think it is. Just trying to get a reaction out of it. Yeah, I think it's fine. So that's good. So that's a pastel calico, pastel calico cinnamon banana uh, hep for clown. Yeah, so that's all of them apart from spider. 
Very cool, baby. So I don't know if I said it before because I'll be filming the beginning of this video in a couple of days. But the reason I did this pairing is because the banana, sorry, the pastel calico spider, that's the mother to this clutch, is just a really, really uh, impressive example of her kind. I hatched her uh, in summer like 2015, I think. 15, maybe 16. She's a, a stunning representation of her kind and of, of her combo. And Calico in Clown is proving to be uh, very worth having. Uh, I'm going to pop a picture up now of Garrick de Meyer's pastel yellow belly Calico Clown. Really cool. I love how the pattern, uh, I love how the pattern is kind of pushed up the sides and more towards the dorsal stripe which uh, looks really cool and I can see a lot to do with this combo so that one's a super super crisp uh, pastel uh, not sure of anything else but you can see it's just really really pretty version I'm just going to check uh, when I was talking about Garrick's uh, I'm just going to check this baby because, yeah, I was, yeah, it started poking its head out and I, I actually thought I saw the second head and the baby is pushing right out the egg. So I wondered if it had a little brother or sister in there, but I don't think it does simply because the actual body of the snake is so large. I don't think it could obviously hold a second body in that little egg. Well, not little egg, but that average size egg. So that's a pastel calico. So yeah, pastel calico. And then last, but potentially no means least, <laughs> I hope it's, well, I don't know what I hope is because I've, I've, I've hit pretty much what I wanted. If I could choose, I would choose a banana cinnamon calico banana cinnamon calico yeah i think i'd choose that so let's see so not all the jeans because i don't chase uh jean stacking because it doesn't always pay to have more it's got spider next i can see uh oh well um how super high right now when i said oh wow that tiny bit of uh, like blood over the surface made me think and screws the silicon on my fingernail. Uh, I thought it was like yellow, but it's actually just blood, so it's, it's white. Um, yeah, so that I believe is a pastel spider calico cinnamon banana 100% head clown. And the reason I think that is because it's very, very high white. Uh, I think it's got cinnamon because it's basically just like a straight, um, a very low expression of, of pattern and stuff. So I think mean, that'll be a really interesting baby. So, so quite, quite heavy on a banana and spider combos. Yeah, it seems to have shown up really well. And this pairing was off one lock. I'll show you the paperwork. So. Bear with me. So there is the clutch and here's the clutch guard. So as you can see, it was nine eggs, no slugs from a pastel spider calico bred to a banana cinnamon clown. So a visual clown, one lock and there's no other male. Her dreamsicle saw you last year, but she didn't go. So there's a very small chance uh, any baby without banana or cinnamon involved is double head for dreamsicle. Uh, so this is this is an issue with snakes uh, retaining sperm. Uh, say the pastels, for instance, may not prove out to be a head clown. It could be double head dream sickle. But just to safeguard me and my customers, uh, I'm saying this now. But also, uh, when I sell any of these snakes, any without cinnamon or banana, I will say there's a there's a small chance uh, it could be head for dream sickle because I just can't. I, can't, I, I couldn't. I, it's impossible to be able to tell. So I don't think it would obviously cause any issues because 
If it turns out to be double at GM sickle, I'm sure the customers will be very happy. So I don't want to, because I've washed my hands now and cleaned up, I don't want to disturb them. And because there's a lot of it, veins, I don't want to disturb them. But some really, really pretty babies. Now, because this video won't come out uh, for uh, maybe about a week, about five days, what I'll do is uh, on the end of my next egg cutting, what's an orange dream clown, to two really hard hitting males so i'm really excited about that one uh, one was a black pastel red stripe head clown and the other one was a cypress leopard head clown so as long as i hit some visuals and get some good odds on the visuals i could hatch some just mind-blowing stuff so on the end of that video i'll show these out the egg so we can have a really nice good look at them and yeah uh, thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll just wrap it up now so obviously it didn't hit the baby I aimed for, but you can't win them all. Now, the next cutting, what I've already done, and I've released one photo on Facebook and Instagram, and the response was amazing. Um, cool clutch, it's only three eggs, but amazing clutch from a banana, uh, sorry, I've got banana on brain after uh, talking about them snakes. Uh, from a cypress leopard het clown male to an orange dream clown female. Now the male was bought from Justin, the female was bought from Ozzy, two top breeders, two amazing combos come together and my god did they bring the fire but there's a twist to the clutch unfortunately. So that's on my next video and you'll see these babies from this video on the next video and because I've already filmed it I know the colours are being murdered but you'll get the idea. If some of you get to see these babies in the flesh, you'll appreciate just how amazing they are. They really are amazing. And unfortunately, because I didn't hit the one I aimed for, they'll all be up for sale. Um, I think I might hold one back just to, well, in fact, I will hold one back because I want Calico in Clown because Gout Demeyer from RoyalConstrictedDesigns.com has created, I think it's a pastel yellow belly Calico Clown. And it's just amazing. It really is spectacular. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box below. Go follow Garrick, he's a really nice guy. He he does quite a lot of videos. They're very just off the cuff, straightforward, no editing, which I really like it. It's a nice, that's how I initially wanted to do my videos, but I, I get a little bit too involved. If I go big or go home kind of thing. But he actually some amazing stuff and he's one of the guys that's been in the industry for a, a ton of time. He's one of the original OGs. So I'll go follow him as well and watch this video uh, on the description box down below to see uh, the the pastel yellow belly clown, uh, but calico clown, because it's just it's just amazing. So I'll pro I'll probably will pick a male from this uh, pairing. And don't forget to go follow my friends and neighbours constrictors because they're top guys and uh, they're definitely worth following. So thanks guys, and I'll bring the next video out. Not too long, I don't think I'll wait a full week because then I've got some more clutches. Um, and the next one, for instance, not the next one I post, but the one after the next clutch I cut is a, a spider double hypo clown female. She's the girl that give me my huge, amazing hypo clown, unless it is a hypo clown. No, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, it's a spider hypo clown. The mother to the hypo clown she's already laid as well i'm getting all confused but it's to my chocolate clown pos het hypo so if i hatch any hypos whether they're clown or not i know it's 100 percent hypo what will be just game changing for me so i'm super excited to do this one and i haven't filmed it yet so we'll have to wait and see it's only a couple of eggs though it's only about three i do know this room is running too hot so i think i've had quite a few slugs this season because it's just too hot i'm going to install the aircon today i've been putting off because there's a lot of electricity consumption and because a uh, good uh, adam from ta exotics good friend of mine he had issues it's kind of scared me thinking i don't want to overload my system but um i'll, I'll fit the aircon today and cool the room down and, and get it dialed in i just don't have nowhere for the aircon to live because it's a standalone unit but anyway that's it for me, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a like. If you haven't, give it two dislikes, and I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers.